Today I'm going to briefly cover the various software packages that I've installed on my Silicon Graphics Tesra. In future videos I'll cover these packages in detail and make some comparisons between some of them along the way. I'm going to get things started by showing you the system's HINV and I'm going to make use of a term running in a transparent mode in order to do this. A term looks awesome with its semi-transparent background and really enhances the look of IRIX. This machine is equipped with four MIPS R16000 CPUs, each running at 1 GHz. It's got 6 GB of memory installed, and it's running V12 graphics. And it also has a dual channel display card fitted. Next I'm going to show you soft image. This is 3D design software. I haven't made models using the software as yet, so I may demonstrate it to you in the future. Next I'll show you Maya 6.5. Seeing that I have modeled using this software, I'll quickly load up the VSI lab that I made from Lawnmower Man, just to quickly show you how the machine handles this model. This is the largest model that I've actually rendered using this machine. As you can see here, yeah, it handles it pretty well. Next I'll show you some rendered outputs of this model which I rendered using this machine. Next I'll show you Power Animator. Again I haven't ever built anything using this software so I may demonstrate it in the future. I have these applications installed on the machine. NEdit is the standard text editor found in IRIX. OpenOffice is a standard word processor. And XFE is a file manager for IRIX. I have the following demos installed on the machine, which I'll cover in detail in future, but for today I'm quickly going to open Buttonfly and show you what standard SGI demos I have installed on the machine. These are the general IRIX demos, these are the O2 demos, and these are the Octane demos. As you can see, there are quite a few of them. I have the following IRIX freeware packages installed on the machine and I will also demonstrate these to you in the future. And these are my games. I also have RSE installed on the machine, enabling me to run Diablo natively in IRIX. I have two versions of Blender installed on the machine, version 2.44 and 2.45. I will run comparisons between these two in the future, but now I'll just open up 2.44. I also have Corel Draw 3.5 installed.
I have the following NecoWare packages installed, which I'll also demonstrate individually in the future. Next is Pro Engineer. This is parametric CAD software. I have used the software in the past very briefly and generated these models using it. Next up is VMD which stands for Visual Molecular Dynamics. It's a software package which allows you to render complex 3D models of molecular structures on the machine. I'm quickly going to load up a model of a DNA strand just to demonstrate it to you. It's an awesome piece of vintage software which really works the machine hard. In the future I plan to put out a proper video showing the performance comparison between this machine and the V880Z, rendering one of the protein molecules from an AIDS virus. Next I'll quickly fire up Soft Windows 95 and demonstrate a game to you. Which should it be? Doom 95 or Hexen 95? Uh, well, I think Hexen 95. As you can see, this game runs pretty well under Soft Windows 95. Next up at Soft Windows 2, in the future I'll do a direct comparison between Soft Windows 2 and Windows 3.11 which runs in DOSBox. Last but not least we have Flow. This is a software package which allows you to add fluid effects to 3D models. And lastly, introducing my latest toy, which allowed me to screen capture directly from the Tezra, making this video recording possible. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks very much for watching.